What's up guys? It's Mike Gray. Welcome to the channel. Alright guys, we are in the car headed almost to the undisclosed shoot location. Y'all know I'm excited about all the shoots, but this one I'm excited about because my mom gave me this look for the holidays and it's a look that she rocked in like the 80, the late 80s. I wanted to find the right person for this look and I finally found her even though I've known her for so long. This one right now is expensive only because what gas is like eight dollars right now a gallon out here in LA big yeah the location is like I'd say probably like an hour outside of LA so not too crazy not the furthest that we've driven but y'all know we're gonna be shooting on the Pentax 67 Portra 400 and I did buy a roll of Kodak gold I'm gonna be honest I wasn't the biggest fan because this look is so colorful I do want to see the difference between Portra scanned properly and Kodak Gold scanned properly. Um, and I think, oh, Ali is calling me now. Ali, I'm about like 15 minutes, 20 minutes okay. out. Uh, please don't kill me. I, I hate that I'm doing this, but my car is making this strange noise and I uh -huh. got out and I looked underneath and there's like, this weird like green liquid coming oh, out of it and I called man. my dad and he said it could be like the radiator or something your, your camshaft lifter and your rocker arm well I'm probably like honestly still like half an hour out because it happened just when I was leaving and I was running a little late already uh, okay so I think I, um, my dad said that there's a he looked online and there's a spot like five minutes from now and he said they could take me okay <laughs> don't you know no don't you know no so i think i'm just gonna go there but i'm probably like i feel like i just have to sit and wait and i i hate canceling on you but i just i don't think it's gonna work today Oh my God, bro! Oh hell, no, man! You, it's, it's. I get. It's all good. Um, at the end of the day, your car is most important. So I, I totally. I'm sorry. No, no worries. No worries. Um, I'm gonna, I guess, turn back around and head back to LA. But, but let me know if you need anything. And um, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh God, you, I wish. I'm sorry. I'm like giving you no notice. But I just like, I, I don't know how long it's gonna be, and I don't really want to just like leave my car there yeah i i totally understand but i just know once the <laughs> once the car is fixed we got to do this look <laughs> try now little lady try now uh, yes no literally name the time like i'll be there okay 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 I, i'm sorry I, i'll talk right. to you later it's all good okay right. bye bye <laughs> no shoots happening today <laughs> So I guess we can take back all of that that I was saying before because there's no shoot. It happens, y'all. This is a part of being a photographer and photographing human beings. At the end of the day, I already know how things are. Shit happens. If I was a landscape photographer, I wouldn't have to worry about people bailing on me, bro. <laughs> Maybe I, Victor, should I start shooting landscapes? Yep. Gosh, dang, man. And Victor, my bro, you driving two hours to come out? Uh, my fault, bro. No, no, it's not your fault. It's all good. Well, I guess we're about to drive <laughs> back home. Drive back. <laughs> drive back home. We got to, I mean, I want to make your time worthwhile, so we got to figure something out. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, after that crazy intro, no shoots happening. I'm sure that I'm not the only person that's gone through this, so. Let me actually look at the maps to head back home. Maybe we'll like figure out a 
concept to shoot when we get back to the house. But in other words, y'all have a good one. And we'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. This was a different video. I hope you guys got some kind of entertainment from it as this is something that every photographer goes through. If you shoot models and other human beings, there is a very high possibility that this situation will approach you at some point of your photography journey. You can't let it defeat you. You can't let it hurt you. It's about overcoming. Not everything is gonna be perfect. You can't give up or be defeated if something doesn't go your way. When I got that call, I was already 20 minutes out of the location, woke up early, packed everything, made that whole little sequence with Victor before, had him come early. He lives two hours away with traffic. So he drives two hours to come and, and help me and, and work with me. So we have all these different variables and we get that call. And granted, it's not the model's fault. She can't help that her car was acting up. You have to make it work. I refuse to at least not get a video out of what happened. And thankfully, Victor is such a great videographer. If y'all haven't already, go follow Victor. He's such a talented dude, such a great guy. He's always filming and that's what I love about him. A lot of times there will be great moments that are missed because the camera isn't rolling and he has that video camera. He has that Sony FX3, beautiful camera, by the way, for a reason to capture moments. And if he wasn't capturing that moment, we wouldn't have had a video today. So thank you, my brother, for looking out. But this is something that happens quite frequently. And I want you guys to comment below if you guys have dealt with this, how you've handled the situation, because the majority of you guys shoot people, shoot models. So I'm curious as to, to how you guys have maneuvered and handled situations when they have a, approached you and when they have come to light. This was just something that I wanted to make for you guys because it's what happened. It's the transparency. And like I said, from the day I made this channel, I always want to keep it 100% with you guys. I know that a lot of the times the photos are great and I, I pick the best photos to show, but you got to show the defeats too. You can't just show all the wins. Um, and we got to keep it real. And I, I, I want to keep that integrity that I promised you guys when I started this YouTube channel of being transparent in all situations and um, showing you guys that things happen to me too. Um, I'm not invincible. So I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Like the video, please. We got more coming. <laughs> I know this is a midweek drop and we don't do midweek drops, but I felt that I didn't want this to be like the highlight of the weekend. So as you know, it fit nicely in, in the middle of the week. Hope y'all gave y'all a little bit of um, inspiration and, and some entertainment throughout the week. I know everybody's working and stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Keep going hard. Keep shooting. Don't let this shit discourage you because it definitely didn't discourage me. Um, only makes me go harder. Only makes me overbook. Shoot, now I may do two shoots a day. <laughs> Whatever. We'll figure it out. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all on the next one. We out.